What's going on guys and for those of you that are new to the channel my name is Joshua Daniel George and today I want to be talking about your personal brand online and how you can leverage that to you know get more social media clients or to stay you know top of mind with your potential leads okay now for those of you that follow me on instagram you guys know you know i do put a lot of effort and time into my feed and you know i'm very active on instagram stories i post at least seven times a day yes the very first um instagram story every single day is uh, you know a cup of coffee funny thing is um i've i you know i've stopped it for a few times where i've you know either not posted coffee or i've posted a, you know an uh, image or a boomerang of me drinking tea and i immediately get bombarded with dm saying you know where is the morning coffee it's like it's like a um like a key aspect of people's morning routine is seeing my uh cup of coffee on instagram stories each and every day and you know people just don't feel right without seeing that cup of coffee which is kind of strange and funny at the same time but uh, nevertheless what i do or you know what i've basically done from the start is when I am in contact with a potential social media marketing client and um, you know we haven't reached the closing part yet or with the closing stage and you know we're still trying to uh, in the business basically what I do is I add the business owner on uh, Instagram so I find out what his Instagram page is and then what I do is I add him on Instagram make sure he follows me back I connect with them you know I send him a DM or a reply to one of his, um, his posts or whatever you know, to make sure that he follows me back as well because from there you can basically create that top of mind awareness you know if you have a personal brand which is clean and the personal brand that shows that you are a social media marketer or that you have your own agency etc and you're posting consistently either on the feed or on Instagram stories, you're staying top of mind with that potential client, okay? So let's say, for example, you know, I am your potential client and you add me on Instagram and I add you back. You send me a message, you know, to, so I am, you know, I'm sure that it's you. You know, we, we know that uh, we follow each other on Instagram and, you know, we've had a, a quick conversation through DMs or whatever, or you've commented on my posts, okay? And then, um, I'm still unsure if I want to work with you, if I want my business to be run by your agency. And I'm just constantly seeing you on Instagram. You know, you con I'm constantly getting reminded that you know I'm in contact with you, and that you know I'm still I still need to give you a yes or a no whether or not I want to work with you. Okay, so every time I go on Instagram stories, you're the left top. You know, you're like one of the first stories that I see. And then when I click on it, you know, I see stuff that you're doing for the agency. I see you building out your team. I see that you're doing well in terms of social media marketing. You know, I see that you're, you're into self-development and you're a serious person, blah, blah, blah. And then when I go to my news feed or, you know, when you actually see the images and the posts, I also see you there, you know, you're providing value in terms of um, Facebook ads or, you, you know, you're explaining to people how you can generate more leads and more sales, etc. So you're constantly staying top of mind because every single time I go on Instagram, you know, you are there. And the same goes for Facebook, for YouTube, for twitter whatever if you follow the business owner on the platform that you're most active on and you're constantly posting you're constantly active on it and i'm constantly seeing it every single time i see you on you know whether social you know whatever social media platform that you choose you know i'm just constantly getting reminded that i still need to give you an answer you know a, a decision and you know i'm constantly seeing that you are doing well with your agency which builds up trust you know builds up that authority position for you and i am much more likely to say yes okay so top of mind awareness is something that you can create by connecting with that person um you know through your personal brand on mainly instagram but also on linkedin or facebook and twitter okay secondly i've already said it before you know the social proof aspect if you have uh, results or you, you're doing stuff for the agency you're in meetings with clients etc and you're posting that on, on social media you're posting that on instagram on instagram stories or on snapchat or whatever and the potential business owner sees that he immediately knows okay this guy is doing well this guy is serious and that might change his perception of you you know if uh, especially for those that are you know a little bit younger and you guys are just starting out and you're unsure about um you know your reputation on online or you're unsure if you can um you know be taken serious by business owners and you know the business owner is constantly seeing you in and out of meetings you know you you, you dress appropriate um you know you're getting results you're showing the back end of uh, the business manager whatever you know that again shows the client 
that you know you are the authority figure you are the expert and that he should trust you okay so alongside a top of mind awareness you can also build up the authority position and social proof through uh, instagram stories and snapchat and whatever you know again depending on uh, what platform you actually add the client on okay and then lastly which is basically like an indirect result of you having a very strong personal brand is basically you can use your personal brand to bring in more leads because you know you you have no control over who follows you and who views your content and you never know you know who might actually see your content you you know you'll be surprised how many people actually view your you know social media prior to working with you okay so the first thing i do when i uh, i'm looking at you know someone that i might want to work with in the future or headhunt or you know recruit for my team i immediately look at his social meet or her you know his or her social media pages i look at the instagram see what to do and see what their passions are see you know what drives them what are they doing on a daily basis and that also works for you as well so if you're constantly active you're building up your personal brand or you're growing in followers you, you, you never know who's actually looking at your uh, profile and you might actually get some leads from it. You know, um, I, I forget who it was, but someone was mentioning Gary V that Gary V is the type of person that does not actually sell to his audience and that is why his personal brand is so big. But the reason why he is doing that is because, you know, off the back of his personal brand, he can then charge 100K for public speaking. Okay, so, and what I mean by, by that is that you know he's building up the personal brand so he can leverage for other things and that is something that you can do as well so if you have a big personal brand or you have a professional looking personal brand you know you can leverage that to get more leads and more clients okay guys so i hope you got something out of this for those of you that are enrolled in the course you know you guys know there's an entire section on personal branding um, to help you, you know, get more leads and you know more social media marketing clients. For those of you that aren't in the course and are very, very serious about taking action and you guys want to start your own social media marketing agency, please send me a message on Instagram and we can see if we can work something out. Subscribe to the channel for more and I'll see you guys in the next one.